Now for more perspective on the Sankara murder trial, I'm joined live via Skype by Nyaka Lagoke, an assistant professor of history and Pan-Africana at Lincoln University in Pennsylvania. Professor Nyaka, what's the significance of this trial? Well, thank you very much uh, for this opportunity. Uh, Thomas Sankara, as you said, uh, was came to power in four years. He changed, uh, you know, the face of his country. Great Pan-Africanist, revolutionary, and defending the cause of justice and freedom. He was killed, and then people who killed him tried to erase his memory uh, from the history books, and then they thought that they were going to try and kill him for the second time. Uh, but uh, the Sankara's values inspired the revolution in Burkina Faso in 2014. And then this uh, created the space and the condition uh, for the trial of those who kill him, you know, to be uh, to be brought to justice. So it, it is it is the hallmark of the revival of the Pan African consciousness in Burkina Faso and in Africa. Uh, Professor Nyaka, uh, former president Blaise Compaore, is accused of masterminding Sankara's uh, murder. But what would constitute justice after three decades if this former president? is found guilty. Yeah, yes, it, it, it is because it is good for the memory. It is good for the history books. It is good for people to know that uh, Sankara's uh, names, uh, uh, Sankara should be, uh, because it, when he was killed, uh, Blaise Compaore and his people, they say that Sankara died of a natural death. This is what they put. So, and then we know he was killed. Uh, that's why it is important uh, for that trial to be held uh, so that justice can be done uh, to Sankara, to his legacy, and to the Pan-Africanists and to those who are fighting uh, uh, to, 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 to contribute to, the, to, to his legacy, and it, so that the victimizers or the killers should be brought to justice uh, because this is the right thing to do in the name of justice. 